I don't even have enough for tax stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I'm barely getting by paying bills, and I know I'm gonna have more problems later this year with taxes and stuff. It's just, it's like an endless cycle. Noobs with shotguns, indeed. Good night, everyone. Good evening, I should say, and how are you all? Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Oh, man. Uh, I'm here. Uh, I'm not here in full capacity, that's for sure. But I'm, I'm here um, in the limited capacity that I can be and very much wanting to be. I've wanted to be here in spirit. You know, I've wanted to be on stream for days now. Tonight is really the first night I feel up to it, to be honest with all of you. Oh, the camera's not on. Here we go. All of you. Oh, the camera's not on. Here we go. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello. Um, to be honest with all of you, like, the one thing holding me back, it's not my sinuses, okay? <sighs> yes, they're full of gunk, they're dripping, big deal. It's, it's the head pressure. Like, this cold has been so bad that the pressure gets so bad in the top of my head up here, like in the upper temples where, you know, the sinus pressure goes up, um, it, it hurts so bad I can't concentrate. Like, I can't even think to myself about anything. There was no way I'd be able to like play a video game or sit here and even hang out with you guys. I've been in so much pain this week. Um, and no exaggeration, twice I felt good. And then when this medication ran out, this is the migraine Advil I have here in this bag. Do you see these little gel caps? See them? They're nice, that golden, golden brown color. You see that? So those gel caps are so strong that when I pop one, if I have that insane sinus pressure, within an hour, it's completely better. I'm like, oh, it feels so good. Insane sinus pressure. It's now gone. So I'll be like, oh, I'm so good. And then it wears off, and then I feel like shit again, you know? Nope, I don't know what you mean. And that happened multiple times this week where I thought, maybe I could come back today. Maybe I could come back today. It wasn't until um, last night that I even felt like I was up to making that update video for you guys. That's how bad I felt all week long. I was just so sapped and drained, and I was sleeping constantly, like constant sleep, sleep, sleep. Um, today was the first day that I was up all day. I woke up in the morning, and I had a lot of things to do, making breakfast for my wife and I, because my wife is very sick now. She's as sick as I was back on, like, Monday. She's just starting th this this cold, and I'm, you know, th oh, uh, five, four, four or five days through it. Um <clears throat> So she feels like I felt on Monday right now. So, bad, you know? So I cooked for us, you know, breakfast. He's a filthy, dirty liar. And uh, made sure that she was all right, because she didn't, she's very sick. So I had to make sure she needed everything she needed to try to get through the day, you know? <laughs> Whether that be drugs or liquids or whatever it was. Um, you know, anything for comfort. You know, cold compress for her forehead. Um, and then I had to arrange for our groceries to show up, which was a nightmare. Our groceries were super massively delayed. Yeah, they were massively delayed. Massively strong. They were supposed to be here between like 12 and four. They didn't show up to almost five. Um, even though we were told that they were gonna show up on the earlier side, they were prepared at 9 a.m. I got an email at 9 a.m. Oh, your groceries will be there like soon. Oh, okay. Where is it? We're waiting because we don't have any food for dinner. Where is the fucking groceries? And they showed up at like last minute. So I was running all around the house, putting all the groceries away and then making dinner for us so that we could eat, so that I could get ready and we could do a stream tonight, you know? All right. I don't know if this is coronavirus or not. I'm going to assume it is. Like, it seems like a lot of the symptoms are similar. Not all of them, but a lot of them just are very similar. So I'm going to guess that this is like a late a late strain coronavirus that I've got. Maybe it's not, maybe I, you know, maybe I'm just exaggerating or I'm just assuming. Will the coronavirus delay my bankruptcy stuff? Yeah, it already has. It's delayed several different things going on. There was supposed to be foreclosure on the Connecticut place. That's been on hold. I was supposed to have a, you know, a meeting with creditors. That's on hold. Everything's on hold for the coronavirus. <sighs> Nothing we can do. I can't really taste. I can taste, um, acidity and I can taste salt if that makes sense and I can taste a little bit of sweetness of certain kinds but I definitely can't taste everything like we, we had these delicious mouth-watering fresh fried egg sandwiches this morning where I make these eggs over easy with with seasoning 
and a little bit of sprinkled cheese on a, on a freshly toasted bagel. And you just, you, you crunch it and you go and you bite into it. It's oozing and delicious. And I'm like, I couldn't even eat it. Or I couldn't taste it. Let me put it that way. I couldn't taste it. I'm like, this sucks. I know this is delicious food and I need it. But I forced myself to eat it and it was a good thing because it made me feel good. Um, it's very salty, but it also has this like sour flavor to it. It does. I've got this aftertaste in my mouth. Ugh. That just, it's not going away. It's a lingering saltiness in my mouth. During my sickness, I appreciate that. Uh, you know who you are. No one asked specifically for a shout out or anything, but I know who you are and thank you for that. Uh, what's funny is I totally, I was so delirious. What I, what I was trying to tell you guys in the community post that I made, I think it was like Monday, was that even though I wasn't going to be here Tuesday for the Halloween marathon, that stream would still be open. And so if people were planning on maybe doing something like being nice to people and gifting some memberships or whatever on that day, that there was no reason to not still do that because the people might still come by and see if the stream's going on. And I never even said that. Like, I was so delirious on Monday. Like, that's exactly what I wanted to say. And I never said that in any post anywhere. That's not begging. That's advertisement. And it's like three days later, I'm going back and I'm looking at the posts I made. I said, I thought I had said that. I just... I was seriously delirious for like two days. I don't even know what I said and what I did. Dude, I had sent my dad an email and I didn't get a response. I was like, oh my God, I, I must have not sent my dad an email. And then he sent me an email a day later. He's like, I'm so sorry, Phil. I actually meant to respond to you and my email got stuck in my drafts outbox. So just so you know, I did get your email on Monday. You did send it, but I, I was my fault that you didn't get the response. So... I, I don't even know what's going on. Like, I, I feel like I lost three entire days of my life, you know? I, I'm so confused. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back tonight and playing games with you guys. What, are you out of your fucking mind? You're a fucking scumbag. Take the paycheck, take the bag, be a fucking loser shill, and have no credibility whatsoever to anything you say or do. Oh, my, my God. You're going to hear a lot of noises tonight. You're going to hear this. You're probably going to see me blow my nose. Nothing you can do about that. Oh, you're going to hear me, you know, cl clear my throat, possibly snorting. I, I can't do anything about it, man. You know, I'm sick. I'm trying to get out of this. <clears throat> Who communicates with parents by email in 2023? You could do calls. Me, because I was sick. I couldn't call anyone. I couldn't, I, I told you, I couldn't even do anything coherently. So I wanted to write, because normally I would call my parents. And I was so sick, I didn't call them. Because I couldn't even really talk. So I wrote my dad a quick email on Monday. I was like, Dad, just so you know, I didn't call because I'm really sick. You know, I'm trying to get better, and, uh, you know, I don't want you to think that anything's horrible or anything here, but I am really sick. That's why I didn't call you, and that was it. <clears throat> I call my parents every week. I call my parents once a week, Ellipsian. How do you not know this? How dare you? You know what, Ellipsian? Two demerits for you tonight. <laughs> Just because you said that, because you don't know that I call my parents regularly every week that I've done for years and years ever since I moved out here, two demerits. You deserve it. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't text because my parents do not text. That's correct. My parents do not text at all. I either have to call or I can email my dad. That's it. My mom doesn't use a, f a cell phone whatsoever, and my dad has a cell phone and doesn't text and doesn't know how to do it. I'm serious. Why am I toxic? You want to know who's toxic? You want to know who's fucking toxic? Your parents. A dollar tip came in. Someone says, oh, this was from Dr. Oink. He says, the detractors are very upset when you don't stream because their lives are obsolete. Oh, I know. Because what happens is when, when I'm not streaming... They have to think up stuff, like make stuff up to talk about because there's nothing to talk about. They're so incredibly bored with the fact that I'm not here that, you know. But that's what I mean. Like they, they act like they want me to be shut down constantly and they do awful things to hurt me because that's the part of their own created lol cow culture is that they think they can hurt someone and get away with it and laugh at it, right? But what they don't realize is that if I actually did go away forever that they would have nothing to talk about, right? There'd be nothing going on at all. They're a fucking idiot. So, but I know, oh, I'm, I'm well aware of all, you know, all the nonsense, but I pay no attention to any of it. Like, seriously, people send it to me. I delete it right away. I don't care about what the fuck those idiots are saying or doing. I could not give two shits about what they said about these last few days. I'm, I'm you know, I know how sick is a dog, and that's where I've been. <clears throat> um, it's Tevin's fault. Um, 